They did not skip this part as well. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I was so wrong. <laughs> Yo, what's up, TFM Nation? It's me, the TFM Mother here again, and looks like Classroom of the Elite is not skipping or cutting out he or he scene based on the thumbnail that I'm seeing, or I might be delusional about this. So, uh, yeah, let's just jump right into let's just jump right into the preview of Classroom of the Elite season three, the finale, episode thirteen. So, yeah, I just recently did the honest feelings and review. I'm not gonna edit it as much, although it's a pretty long video. I just wanted to get some rest, so that's why I haven't edited it. So, yeah, Baseless Open already uploaded his cut content video, so you can check it out. So, um, yeah. Anyway, right off the bat, I knew it. Yes! <laughs> this is a pretty important scene, and finally we're seeing their interaction together alone. Hiori and Hayana Koji reading a book and at the same time talking about Ryuwen. So I'm glad they didn't skip it. Thank God. <laughs> One of my favorite moments, you know what I'm saying? Because Hiori's my girl. <laughs> this part. And they kept her clothes as well. Oh my God, that's so lovely. Anyway, let's just see this preview right now. <laughs> Hiori date, finally. Yes. Hopefully no copyright this time, because I got copyrighted in the next time. Oh, 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 wait, whoa, 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 you look at her with the necklace. <laughs> they did not skip this part as well. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I was so wrong. <laughs> oh. Okay, they adapted that. They didn't see Masashita. Oh, they are adapting Nation as a part. Okay, good, good. Okay, this is it. Masashita. Yes! Okay, they said. Okay, alright. They showed it. Are they gonna tease K? Oh, Ryuan! Wait, I don't remember this? I don't remember this? Nani? No, 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 no. <laughs> let's, before we proceed, let's take a look at the screenshots. <laughs> I, you know what? I think I might just scratch my, okay, you know what? I think I might just cut out a lot of things so that I can shorten it. I was so wrong. So they basically did not skip. <laughs> oh my God. When I said they skipped, oh yeah, uh, they skipped this part. Uh, but in fact, they did not skip that part. They didn't skip this. Hiori date. That's Hiori, as you can see. And surprisingly, they didn't skip the boys in the bathroom. Or restroom, I'd say. What? That was surprising to me. <laughs> that? What? <laughs> okay, I'm glad they didn't skip it. Because these are very crucial moments. And at the same time. When they only focused on Susan in the last episode, that was great to me. But now seeing the preview of episode 13, it made me realize, oh yeah. Now we're getting into the crucial parts, not about the siblings, but what's going to happen in the future. I'm glad they that, that they really took this direction because if they really lost the momentum, the the comprehension, all the things built up for that moment of Suzune and Manabu together. It would lose, it would just lose everything. So yeah, I'm glad that they moved scenes just for the finale. And yeah, they teased the, the final part. I don't remember this part. Someone comment down below. I really don't remember. But I do think they did talk. I just don't remember what, what talk they had. It just goes to show you that I really don't remember a lot now. Like... It's been three years, by the way. So how would I even remember? Plus, dealing college and dealing other stuff, not just Clash with the Elite. So yeah. Final episode. Love is the best teacher. What? What do you mean? Ah! Ah! Oh wait, Susan. Huh? Eh? Hey. Oh! Oh! Wait! No! Wait! Wait! wait. Okay. Hiori and their date with Ayana Koji. Okay, and they didn't skip this bathroom scene, the restroom scene, and they didn't skip the Ichinose scene. Aha, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Ichinose fans. Ichinose fans. 
W. <laughs> I feel like H and L's fans are celebrating right now. They're like, "Oh, they didn't skip it!" <laughs> oh my god! And Hiori fans, rise! We win! <laughs> we won! They didn't skip it! Oh my god! I lost hope for this scene, but they didn't cut it. Yeah, <laughs> you don't know how happy I am. <laughs> oh my god! Anyway, I'm happy about this part. Why am I so happy with this Hiori date? Anyway, Ichinose drenched because the rain. Spoilers. <gasps> yeah, and then the talk with the girls. And then Sato is going to ask about things. Yeah, and then I think this is. I don't know if they're gonna move it. Yeah, I feel like they are gonna change things up. This is where Susan already cut her hair. And I think it's Susan finally challenging Ayana Koji. The part where. I told you guys they skipped, and that is this part right here. Yeah, I don't know if they are going to adapt this in a different way with short-haired Susanne. So yeah, and then finally the Casey. This is the finale where where Ayana Koji confessed to K. Yeah, it's that way, not the other way around. So. Yeah, Ayano Koji was the one who confessed. Sorry, spoilers, but you ha you gotta admit that you you really expected that from me. Like I would give away the spoiler. <laughs> okay, good. It's not yeah, it's not outsourced, yeah. I mean it's the finale. Why would they outsource it anyway? <laughs> yeah, it's no it's not outsourced and yeah. Good. They didn't skip out the scenes that I thought they would skip. The bathroom scene, the restroom scene. I really thought that was gonna get skipped, and most importantly, I thought they were gonna skip this part out that he already did, but they didn't. Thank you, thank you. Finally, some Hiori screen time. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what, Hiori's my girl. I don't even care. Hiori's my girl <laughs> because she is just it's just too cute, innocent, and pure. I don't care if she's small. <laughs> yeah, she's she's just so cute, man. Yeah, because this Hiori date. Is about Hiori fessing up how did Ryu and come back. Anyway, that's all the uh, the screenshots. All right, let's take a look at the uh, the preview, <laughs> frame by frame. Okay, they started off with Hiori's date with Ayana Koji, and talking about books and Ryu and so yeah, and then I didn't expect this. Look at this, Hiori bypassing K, and K. Wearing the necklace that Yana Koji gave, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. And by the way, K changed her clothes. Like she has a coat, long sleeves on her, but underneath it's the same clothes. Yeah, it's the same clothes. So yeah, is this what really happened? I uh, listen. I don't know the chronological order now. So yeah. <laughs> K met up with Ayana Koji right after. Oh, the cute pout! I didn't realize K is pouting! Hey, yo! Gotta save this. <laughs> yeah, look at, look at that. Look at that. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show you. Look at that cute pout. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> being tsundere. And yeah. I think this is Ayana Koji being... Ayana Koji always teasing K. Ayana Koji is just reading while K is there. <laughs> Look at K, he's so cute. With the necklace on. I Wait, did she wear the necklace? I didn't... Huh? She didn't. Wow! She didn't? Wait, she didn't. Huh? What? Listen. Correct me if I'm wrong, but did K in the novel actually didn't wear the necklace? Because from the illustration, she didn't wear it, okay? But in the anime, she wore it. Just to show how much she loves Ayana Koji. I think it's a great way of showing her love towards Ayana Koji, even though she's a tsundere. And Ayana Koji is seeing it, you know? She, Ayana Koji felt it, so, yeah. Okay, uh, I don't even know. I don't even remember their talk in that one. Yeah. This is, this right here is what got me. I'm like, what? 
he did not skip this part? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> With Kanzaki as well. But aren't, aren't they gonna adapt the the boys taking a piss together? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Kanzaki there. I mean, the, the stall is there. You know, the stalls are there. I mean, it's three, so you can take a piss together. <laughs> Oh, that sounded sus anyway. And it's Kishiro talking to Ayana Koji. And that's where Matsushita followed Ayana Koji. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do I even have to redo my, uh, my honest feelings and review? I don't want to. I don't want to redo it because I'm, I'm like, exhausted. Mentally exhausted. And I just want to get it through. <laughs> And it's the Ichi no se scene. Ichi no se scene. Ichi no se fans rise. It's this scene. <laughs> yeah. Because it's a. <laughs> hey, on the coach, you riz. <laughs> and then what else? Yeah, it's this. Yeah, it is that, still that scene. And then the girls talk with Shinohara, Sato, and Matsushita along with Kei. And talking about uh, Sato's love, I think. About Ariana Koji. Yeah, and then that's where Matsushita caught... It got her attention. So, uh, yeah. About Ariana Koji. Because of what you saw in episode 11. They teased Matsushita's involvement. And that will be here, as you can see. Yeah. Okay. They changed Matsushita's clothing. She has a jacket? Love is the best teacher? Is that really... So they so met up at the construction you? again. No, it's not really... No. It's a, it's a storage room. But it has the same vibe. Oh wait, I think I think I do remember this. But I just can't remember their conversation. Yeah, they did have a talk. Okay, yeah. And plus Manabu being the one to talk in the final preview of the episode. Aww. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's all for the preview. And wow, it, it just surprised me that the things that I thought they would skip, they will actually not skip at all. Uh, by the way, this isn't something that I usually do, but I'm going to read the synopsis or story in the uh, episode 13. Spring break. Ayana Koji is called by Sheena Hiori. Who wants to talk about books? Meanwhile, Kanzaki from Class B appears before Ryuan, who is having a secret meeting with Hashimoto. Yeah, in the restroom. Although the class was defeated, Kanzaki faces Ryuan without hesitation. Before the students are promoted to second year, their relationships between students are about to change over the course of a year. See that? Relationships? Uh -huh, uh -huh. They... <laughs> They keep hinting it. <laughs> anyway, that is all for now though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for my honest feelings and review. I might have to shorten it because it's like 40 minutes. The video is 40 minutes. And it's just me complaining about the toxic fans saying they cut out Susan's monologue when in fact they didn't even cut her monologue out. Because that's just pure toxicity from me. I'm like, you're saying they cut out a scene where they didn't even cut the scene. When in fact they actually adapted the scene, the monologue from Suzune facing herself in the mirror, looking herself in the mirror, talking about her fake self. Are you saying that they didn't adapt that? Yeah, that's why I was like, what the fuck is going on with this fandom? Yeah, are you just blind, blinded by hate? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> yeah, that's why right now the fandom of Flash from the Elite is just hell. It's a hellhole. Yeah, if you want to come in here and be a fan yourself, go ahead. I'm not stopping you, but it's up to you if you want to be part of those toxic community. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm just saying just be careful if you want to enter a hellhole, you know. <laughs> a toxic fandom. Yeah. Uh, Clash of the Elite fans weren't always like this, by the way. Uh, as long as it grew, the fandom grew. Yeah, the fans just kept being toxic and that's why, to me, it turns me off right now. That's why, it's also one of the reasons why I also stopped reading the novels for now. Because I'm like, yeah, I think it's time for me to stop. I don't want to be a part of this toxic community 
for a while. That's why I kept silent. And uh, yeah, I only read the full arcs of year one and then just proceeded up to volume 4.5 and year two. And that's it. I, ol I only stopped there. So yeah. If anything, if they're gonna adapt season four or year two season one, then I'm just up to year two volume four point five. Yeah. Anyway, um, that is it for now, though. By the way, you know why I also hate the fandom right now? It's because if you know, there's a thing going on in Clash of the Elite right now, is to vote for the best girls. Uh, Keiko Rizawa, Susan Horikita, Honami Ichinose, uh, Shina Hiori, Kikyo Kushida, and um. Ari Sasakenagi, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I forgot about Sakenagi. Wow. Yeah, six of them, whoever gets the most votes gets a uh, merch. And yeah. You know what the fans did? They did multiple accounts just to vote for their favorite girl. Yeah, it's sad, man. This fandom is just pure toxic. The fans right now in Clash of the Elite is just pure hell. It's just pure toxic while the author himself is sick. While this stupid fandom is fighting over best girls. <laughs> I hate it. The Clash of the Elite fandom is turning me off. I'm like, I don't want to be a part of this anymore. Yeah, because unlike 86 fandom, 86 fandom is just welcoming. It's so heartwarming. When I entered 86, the fandom, they all welcomed me, and at the same time, whenever we got a new fan, they're always so welcoming. And that is the one fandom that I actually love. The only thing we hate is that we're season two. <laughs> that's the only thing we only uh, complain. We're season two, and that's it. Yeah, the fandom in 86 is not so toxic like this. In fact, 86 fandom is one of the best, if not the best fandom I've ever encountered. So, yeah. Unlike Clash of the Elite right now. Oh yeah, the anime sucks. Oh yeah. Oh, they cut this part out. Oh, when in fact they didn't cut it out. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's just sad to me, you know. Anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry about this little negative feedback from me about the fandom at the end. It's just sad. I don't know, man. Yeah. Anyway, see you guys at the finale. And then I'll upload the AMV as soon as the finale uh, as soon as I uploaded my reaction, yeah, before I go through my holy week, I go through my assignments and homeworks, projects, yeah, I'll upload them all so that I won't have any problems anymore about my YouTube, <laughs> yeah, anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys in the finale, this is it, love is in the air for this series, yeah, while in the novel, love is about to break, <laughs> Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the finale. Peace out.